Hello goddesses, mwah, mwah. I hope you're doing well, girly. I hope you're feeling safe. I hope you're drinking water. I hope you're taking care of yourself. I hope you're doing just as amazing as you possibly can. But I just wanna get straight into the video and talk about why I think people should strive to be rich. And what I mean by that is, when you're striving to be rich, you shouldn't just strive to be rich in just a financial aspect, because I feel like to an extent that can make you happy, it may make you happy, but I feel like when you're striving to be rich, you should be striving to be rich in all aspects. When I say all aspects, I mean love, I mean friendships, I mean safe spaces, I mean spiritually, um, spiritually and also mentally. You should strive to be rich mentally in a sense of you should always want to grow and learn when it comes to your mental health and always want to strive to take better care of yourself. Because at the end of the day, you have to remember that you are in control, right? Everything else is gonna continue to happen the way it's gonna happen, but you are in control of how you are. And the best thing to do is just basically practice self-preservation as much as possible in this current life. Um, of course, you can help others as you go, but at the end of the day, you're, you're not meant to basically be like everybody else. You're meant to lead the pack. And I really truly feel like when it comes to striving to be rich, you kind of have to think outside of, okay, is this reality possible for me? And I'm going to tell you, my love, it definitely is very possible for you. You just have to understand that your brain is going to be wired differently. It's going to work differently than everyone else. And it may sound crazy, but that's just going to how it's going to be. So when I say rich in relationships, um, when you talk to like a friend or a significant other or anyone that holds a very strong value to you, like genuinely ask them like how do how do they like like how do how do you how does their like your presence affects them pretty much like how do they make you feel and how do you feel around them? Um, if you feel like you're being constantly drained or you're not really feeling like the friendship is truly there, my love, you have to remember, you have the choice of just letting it go. You don't have to sit there and accept everyone's presence. And I know it's like, we do it as humans to kind of not be rude about it, but I feel like if it's not serving you as a person, you are you are more than welcome to let go and you are more than welcome to change. Um, there are, t there are some times where your friendships just won't align to you, and that's fine. You don't I feel like you don't even really have to have a reason. Everyone always says you have to have a reason to do this, this, and that. You really don't. I feel like sometimes if someone's presence is just not giving you what it used to give, you're more than welcome to just kind of, you know, collect your thoughts and just kind of move on and do what you want to do. Um, and in that aspect of, like, of course, being rich when it comes to spiritually, Yes, girly, do your reflection, do your shadow work, do anything and everything that you can to make sure you're spiritually bonded with the universe and with God. If you are not that type of person, that is totally fine. I'm not judging you, girly, but just make sure that you are on a realm where, where anyone that tries to attack you spiritually or try to come for you in that way, you are spiritually protected. So if you're not into that, that's fine, love. Just, I'm just letting you guys know, just to make sure you are like you are divinely protected you're divinely protected by god and by angels and spirit guides so don't don't freak out you know don't freak out when people try to like come after you or energy vampires are trying to come after you because at the end of the day you kind of control that realm and when i say about it is you kind of control whether uh you want to continuously interact with that person or not or if you want to disconnect their energy from you or not you kind of control that that's kind of what I really want to just explain more of because I feel like life is going to, as I said, I always tell you girls, life is going to continue to happen as it's going to happen. But make sure that you stay focused on yourself and you stay focused on developing you and growing with you. At the end of the day, it doesn't matter what anyone thinks because they're going to think what they want to think and that's fine, love. But just know that you keep your head in the game, keep yourself focused and keep like growing within yourself. You're more than welcome to change. Stop listening to everybody else when they say you can't change or are you changing in order to be like, girl, why are you dressing that way? Why are you thinking that way? Da, da, da. Let them let them do that, girly. It's fine. You're more than welcome to change and you should allow yourself to change. You shouldn't be the same person.
as I said, always shouldn't be the same person as I met like what 12 years ago, girl. It's okay to evolve and change, but okay, so especially growing, um, being spiritually rich in time. Um, I'm just gonna say this and get this off my chest. Some people they flourish in nine to fives, right? That you know, their entire career and their work life is thriving off of nine to five and it gives them enough time and space to be with their family and a security and all the safetyness of that. It, it's just, it just makes them feel fulfilled and that's fine. But I feel like when it comes to having a nine to five, it's very, I'm not saying it's not possible, but it's very hard to be rich having a nine to five because there's usually a cap. And when I say rich, I mean rich with time. Like you can make all the money you want to a nine to five. It's still capped. It's not as much as you would want to make, obviously, but it's still capped. And so huh, I'm not trying to shade any girlies that love a nine to fives, but what I will say is this, with a nine to five, you are always spending and taking away and then growing. You're, you're growing your bank account just enough to survive, but at the end of the day, you're taking away your time. You're taking away your time over and over and over and over again. So I've got, I've kind of, I'm fine. I'm gonna, I'm gonna mess up. It's fine. I've kind of got to the point where nine to fives, they have, they don't serve me, because at the end of the day, I know that I can't be as rich as I want to be with my time when having a nine to five. There are nine to fives that allow you to have as much time as you can on your hands, and that's okay. But I feel like for most nine to fives, it's very hard to be rich in a sense of where you are allowed your own time and you're allowed enough time because at the end of the day, you're working at a corporation's time. So you're literally getting paid by that time that you're not there. I mean, that you are there. So it's like, I feel like being rich in time is just an amazing freedom that you should strive for. And some girlies may not agree with me. Some girlies may be like, well, I like that nine to five because it gives me stability. I know what I'm getting, I know what I want, and that's fine. But I I ask you to challenge yourself when it comes to those thoughts. Like, what if you were giving an option where you had to grow your own money, you had no cap, you can grow your own money, you can do your own thing, and you actually had as much time as you want. You chose the time that you spend on that specific task like really think about that life and I, I want you to really just envision yourself living a life where you have that luxury of time you have endless amounts of time and the only reason why you have endless amounts of that time is because you actually was working towards your dreams and your goals and you didn't like, yes, that nine to five was possible and it was part of your goal, but the end game was obviously you achieving what you wanted to in life. If you are in that position, I, I really truly want you to continue to work towards, um, work towards that position pretty much. And I'm not saying, as I said, I'm not trying to diss all the girlies who are working a nine to five and you know, getting by. I'm just telling you to strive higher to have time for yourself. I feel like that's the ultimate like richness a person should have is just having a luxury and time to choose what they want to do with their time. That's all. <laughs> and of course, love. Um, being abundant and rich in love. Whew. This is kind of like personally like my favorite one because the thing is with me is that one thing I learned is that um, I'm a person with a big heart and I love to love. I, uh, ugh, I don't know why my, my, ugh, my throat's bitch, my throat's breaking bitch, I don't know why, but um, I'm a person that loves to love, I'm a person that loves to give love, and I love to receive love. But I think it's important <clears throat> that if you are a person that loves to love, you should um, always want to receive that type of love or even more and a lot of people are going to be like girl what do you mean by more as in if you're the type of person that tends to love hard and you understand that you love hard 
you should be with someone who's gonna love you harder than how you love yourself pretty much um, you should be with someone who's gonna give you that safety of being loved right it's gonna give you that abundance of just protection and honesty and um, security you should want stability bitch basically and so you should be with someone that's going to give you that abundance or richness of love that's what I'm trying to say um, a lot of people tend to not do that because they feel as though it's not possible and that they don't deserve it and I'm here to tell you that girly it does exist and it does it does work and it does there's people out there who do love love to love to love and love as hard as you can you just have to really understand that you have to be picky when it comes to your partners. You just can't allow people just to have access to you just because you're nice and you're kind. Like, no girl, you have to be very picky and choosy as to who has access to your energy and who has access to your love. You are not going to be an open book. If you are going to be an open book, it's because that person has deserved, they basically deserved to see that open book inside you, if that makes any sense. So it's like... Being picky and choosy has really helped me kind of navigate um, my perspective on love because I feel like it has definitely changed. I'm not as open as I used to be. I'm, I'm still open with my girlies because you guys are my girlies, but I'm not as open when it comes to like um, basically giving everybody all of me. Like you don't need to do that. Don't do that. <laughs> I recommend you don't do that because a lot of times people can't really accept that. Or they don't understand that type of vibe and so they won't really reciprocate that or they get too comfortable and they know that they can't reciprocate that so they would just rather just you know receive all the love that you can give but then then you don't receive nothing back because they already know that they can't give you back and they won't tell you that because I mean it's very hard to tell a person hey I can't really give you what you want you know because sometimes people they have a hard time communicating their needs and wants and that's okay. It is what it is. The only thing we can do is take that L, learn from it, and just keep going, sis, you know, until we find a partner that really loves us and truly values us. But in regards to that love, um, I, as I said, this is kind of like my overall too long didn't read version. You should just be more, um, when it comes to richness, you should thrive for being fulfilled and love, happiness, um, partnerships pretty much and time everything else besides just money it's it's like it's okay to have money it's okay to have that but to be f truly fulfilled in life you really have to be rich in those things so in regards to that my love i hope you enjoyed this video please 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 don't forget to like and subscribe girlies i see y'all be watching my videos but i don't really say nothing like it's okay to subscribe it's okay to subscribe but if you don't want to it's fine okay i'm fine with that too but in regards i shall see you in my next video my love bye <laughs>